Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield and today we finally have an update on my ADHD life tracker, dashboard, everything notion. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see some updates from me because the last time I did my dashboard video was at least six months ago and a lot of things have changed in my life. I got a new job and you know I've been tracking my weight loss and there's just been a lot of things that have been updated. And so today I kind of wanted to walk through specifically what changes I've made to my dashboard as well as my template. So I have an ADHD life tracker template and I'm really excited because I spent basically the entire day, probably like five, six hours yesterday, redoing my entire Notion setup, um, basically from top to bottom. Um, I kept a lot of like the elements, but just the overall flow and overall like way that the boards interact with each other, I redid. And I think it's so much better. And I think it's actually gonna work a lot better for me personally, and hopefully for you too. And I think it's always helpful to see other people's Notion setups to kind of get some ideas. One of the things I wanted to talk about were just some simple things that I've learned about Notion as well as myself over the last year. I've been using Notion for over a year now, and there's definitely some really big things that have changed, so I want to talk about that. So the first thing that I really needed to do was sometimes I overwhelmed myself and had way too many boards going on. I like didn't know where to find things. It wasn't like a clear path to where I needed to go. P things were just kind of everywhere. So one of the things I really did with this specific update is I tried to simplify specifically my dashboard. I actually got rid of all of my bookmarks. I only have one workspace and now everything has to go back through the main dashboard. I think that that's a really good system because otherwise I was like going through the side and trying to find everything. This way I always start with one page and then I can go specifically to where I'm looking. Now I have talked about my pillar system that I got from August Bradley on multiple videos, but what I realized is that is how I organize not just Notion, but almost every single pl platform and app that I use, including Google bookmarks, uh, you know, my email, Canva, how I organize my files in my life is through the pillar system. And I wasn't really taking advantage of that in Notion. So that has changed. So now the first thing that you'll see when you go to my Notion dashboard is my pillars. And I'm using the pillars specifically almost as project, uh, you know, folders is kind of how I've set it up. And I'll show you guys when I walk through. But that was one thing that was really important to me was I needed a way for my brain to remember things. I have watched a lot of other YouTube videos and a lot of people have their own like names for things and you know all this stuff but I just needed something that worked for me and again what you choose to do should work for your brain everyone's brain is different and I think that for me I tried to make it as obvious and not like cutesy as possible so I truly just decided to name things based off of what they are and not come up with a cute little title that I'm never going to remember what it means so one of the things that you know Notion is great for is you can make it as simple or as complex as you want. So for me, my dashboard is very simple and very much like intuitive to click through, but some of the things inside are more complex, which is great because there's certain dashboards that I have that need to be complex because they're holding a lot of information. Recently, Notion came out with a new status uh, property, which is super cool. So I had to go through and replace all of my man-made status with the new status uh, update, which I really like. I think it's really well done. And, you know, so that took quite a bit of time yesterday as well. I tried to update all of the uh, templates that I have as well as my own personal, you know, dashboards and everything with the status. And I will say I have, <laughs> I have a, a, a template that has, or um, a database that has over 4,000 items. So I had to go through and change all of those. I did it kind of like in a group format. So it was a little bit easier, but anyways, so just to say, I have really updated a lot of things. Let's get to the template and the update and kind of a walkthrough of my Notion ADHD life dashboard, because I think that it will be really helpful for you to see how I really just try to simplify it as much as possible. Um, and obviously the one thing to note is this is constantly an updated. I tried to get this video you know, today so that you guys can get this information, but it's not 100% complete and it's constantly being changed and updated. So if some pages are not done, it's because I'm still working on them. But I wanted to show you guys the general overall concept and flow, so let's just get to it. Make sure to subscribe for more ADHD Notion videos as well as join our Facebook group for more content. All right, so here we are in my ADHD life tracker. So this is my personal one, but 
The one that I sell on uh, Gumroad is very, very similar. I am constantly updating that one. So make sure if you have bought it before, I have made some updates if you would like to re-download it, um, you can. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise you can make it yourself however you wanna do it. So you can see here on the top, I have added this pillar sort of layout, which I think is so helpful. I also added pictures, um, so if you wanna see that, um, you can actually go over here, go to the gallery view, and the card preview can be page cover. So I did add pictures as well if you'd like to see it that way. I personally like to just see it this way because it's easier, but I did add covers to those for myself. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention is, so for each of these, I'm using them, like I said, as like a walkthrough or like a, a project database. So for example, one of the things that I have set up, like let me click on entertainment, for example. You can see that I link things over to this. So whether it's something on my bucket list, um, people that I watch on YouTube, et cetera, if they're under the entertainment pillar, um, they're all linked here. You can either choose to you know, have this uh, shown or not shown, but one of the things then you could click on is, you know, I have an entertainment uh, page. This could also be embedded as well, and I might do that, but I have TV shows or movies or whatever I want as part of that pillar. One of the things I did, which this is part of the uh, template, is I have an actual business projects database. So this is my personal business project. So I've got like my weight loss, etc. So these are specifically of like a projects database within business projects, which is the pillar. So I have individual you know things that I'm working on, and they're not just business; they're like personal as well. Um, so that is kind of how I'm doing these things. So for example, with my health and fitness one. Again, I link everything here, but then now I've got all of my stuff that I have about health and fitness, which is part of the template as well. I've got my grocery list. I've got my real meals and recipes. I've got my meal planning, all the stuff. I've got my supplements. So again, I'm putting them in these individual pillars so it's easy for me to find them and know where they are. You know, so there's a, there is a database somewhere else, but these are linked views of databases. I've also thrown in, and this is a big thing, you guys, because I sell this separately. I have thrown in my content creation pipeline template into the ADHD Life Tracker template. So you now get both of those. This It looks a little different than this one, but you can see I have my marketing project. So this is a really big you know, walkthrough of all of the things that I'm working on with my content. I do a lot of content creation for my full-time job as well as my YouTube channel. So for me, being able to quickly find all the stuff I'm doing with the content marketing, super helpful. So again, these can be kind of customized however you want them to be, but I love that this is actually an entire board. So they're all kind of in the same thing, but then within each of them, they're kind of their own, I guess, databases or dashboards or whatever you call it based off of the specific thing. And so I've obviously ordered it by home, business and growth. Um, obviously, you know, with mind expansion learning, I have my knowledge vault, which I, I don't think I put this inside of the, it, but it's very easy to make one. Basically, it's like a bunch of different topics that I want to keep information on. So this is a little bit different than the pillars. This is actually like individual topics um, uh, that I, I have stored information on. So for example, um, I have a list of mental health you know, things. So whatever it is, this is more of like taking notes and creating almost like a second brain. All of that is within my mind expansion board folder, I guess, or page. So if I go back to my life tracker, so that is the first part of the dashboard. Um, it's a lot different than it used to be. I never had this at all. Um, it was kind of like a page I had had, but now I'm like, this is how I'm gonna run Notion. The first thing I say is good morning. This is my priority decision hierarchy. I just added this, I thought it was helpful, but you could add whatever you want. And then literally, the, yeah, this is the whole da dashboard, that's it. It's, it's just that I don't want anything more because um, it's gonna distract me. But one of the things I did, and this is a new update with Notion, is that they actually added something where you can actually have multiple different dashboards on the same thing. They're just views. So you can see that I have, let's see, like a bunch of them. These are the things that I use every day. So let's go through them real quick. So the daily glance is like the like my whole day, the roll up of all of the different things that I'll go through here. My daily checklist is the things that I do every day. It automatically repopulates every day. And it's things like brushing my teeth, uh, taking a shower, all the things I need to check off. I've got my to-do list, which again is, is I've actually filtered it to only be priority one things I need to do. Um, so that way it's very easy to find my current to-do list. 
My daily workout summary, this is things like my steps, my weight, uh, what am I doing that day for my workout? My content calendar, so what is due today? That is kind of, again, filtered so that I can just quickly switch between what I need to do. My meal planning, this is uh, looking at today, so tracking my meals. My skincare routine, so I have a like an evening skincare routine. My daily journal, this is a place where I could journal on Notion. And then savers, which is my morning routine. And obviously you can you know rearrange these however you want. I've added most of these to the uh, ADHD Notion template, but I kind of want to walk through them. So this first one, again, this is rolling up from all of the other ones and I haven't filled them all out yet, but you will be able to see things like your number of steps based off of the other things that you've done. So for example, if I go through, this is my daily checklist. Did I eat healthy? Did I drink water? Did I make my bed? Did I put my clothes? You can do this and I put M as morning. So this is kind of like a daily checklist that you can do and you can add whatever you want, but that's just something right now it's filtered so that it's today's date. With my to-do list, this is also, um, you know, you can see over here, I have it uh, with pillars. I've got the priority filtered. Um, you can see my new status updates. These are really, I'm really trying to get better at my to-do list and really focusing. And I like, I like seeing my to-do list like this. Um, I don't know, that's just me. Um, but you can see also which project it's related to, et cetera. Then I've got my daily workout summary. So this is, if you click into this, you will see that you can add things like your steps, your weight. Have you stretched? Have you meditated? Have you walked? Um, what time did you wake up? Again, you can put all this in from your phone, whatever you're doing. And again, this is goes back to the daily workout summary database. This one is just today's date and the content calendar. If there's anything that you're doing, you can obviously filter it however you want. You could do this week, whatever. Again, you can change it, but the fact that they're all able to quickly be found and they're not taking up the whole page is huge for me. The next one is meal planning. So this is if I go today, I can literally decide what meal I want. Um, you know, all of that was, is within my meals and recipes database. So for example, I had oatmeal this morning, so I can add that and now you'll see that that is part of my thing as well as it should be part of my roll up. Yep, it's right there. So you can literally track everything every day if you'd like to. My skincare, this is just something I made. I actually have this free template, so I just kind of pop this in. Um, this is kind of like my daily skincare routine. If I want to remember, I'm doing skin cycling. Um, I did a whole TikTok on that if you want to watch it. And then here's my daily journal. So this, you know, you click into this and you've got your mood tracker, your thoughts, you know, things you're grateful for, etc. Again, this goes back to the daily tracker. So all of this goes back to this daily glance. And once you fill everything out, it will show everything. And that's why I built this system to have a kind of a snapshot look at everything that you've done. Now, you don't have to fill everything out every day. And I'll be honest, I don't always, but if you like to and you want a better system, this is great. I think the things I use the most is my to-do list and my content calendar. I'll be honest, those are the two things I probably use the actually the most, as well as a lot of the things that I've created. Um, one thing I wanted to mention also within the home and household, I found this really great relocation template and I'll link it below, but you can see that um, you know, there's a bunch of really cool things. I'm actually going to be moving somewhat soon. So there's a lot of great things on here. So that's a really awesome thing. Anyways, I just hope that this was a helpful walkthrough. You can obviously watch a lot of my other videos if you're interested in seeing kind of how the other things work. A lot of the things I've kept the same. For example, if you go to the mind expansion learning, um, my tags and knowledge about, as well as my brain, that is all the same. Um, I've just moved it to a different spot. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, you know, I've got so much stuff in this ADHD life tracker that I've set up. Um, but this is kind of how I personally use Notion now. You can see over on the left hand side that um, truly like I don't have anything. Like it's if you go like this, that's all it is. I'm really trying to stick with these pillars to be what I use. So anyways, I hope that this is helpful and I'll talk to you guys next time. Make sure to grab the template. It's below. It costs 30 bucks. Comes with a lot of stuff. So it's really helpful.